Now, one of the billionaire Rockefellers was eaten by cannibals while traveling off the coast of southwest New Guinea. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift. This is the gruesome story of the death of Michael C. Rockefeller. When Nelson Rockefeller opened the Museum of Primitive Art in 1957, his son, Michael, traveled to Asmat in Dutch New Guinea to gather artwork. But on November 21st, 1961, Rockefeller disappeared when his boat's motor died. The official cause of death will be listed as drowning, but there were rumors that he was eaten alive by cannibals. While investigating the case, journalist Carl Hoffman discovered a white man had recently been put in charge and under his command. Five Asmat men were gunned down. When Rockefeller arrived, the world was out of balance to the Asmats, a notoriously violent tribe who believe headhunting and cannibalism are normal activities. Little did Rockefeller know, this was a spiritual world balanced by ritual and reciprocal violence. Hoffman believes, after swimming to shore from his boat, Rockefeller encountered the men of the Asmat. Frustrated over their changing world, the Asmats tortured Rockefeller as a chance to restore balance. Reportedly, his ribs were broken with an axe, his blood smeared over the Asmats' bodies, his arms and legs cut off, and his charred body parts, including his brain, were eaten. When Hoffman brought his finding forward to the Dutch government, they denied the allegations. Hoffman provided further details in his book, Savage Harvest. It is believed the Rockefeller family never knew about this information, and they haven't accepted any other cause of death besides drowning. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this is a story of how one Rockefeller heir was eaten by cannibals.